Women's basketball in a crucial Little East Conference matchup against Keene State College on Saturday afternoon. The Beacons looking to get back into Little East Conference contention for the tournament just over a month from now. And the Beacons would go off in a big way in the first quarter. It was 7-7 to all, and then the Beacons go on a 22-7 to run to close out the first to lead 29-14. to You see Meg Dixon nailing a three there. Carrie Ann Farina started it off with two free throws, and then Dixon another three from the corner. She was having herself a day. This was just the start of her afternoon. Sunny Green then in transition lays it up and in. The Beacons now in control by nine points, just over five minutes left in the first. And then Dixon again, jumper on the inbound. Yes, she's got it. It's an 11-point Beacon lead, and they continue it. Paige Olivier, who had a on-fire week, for UMass Boston, continuing her sharp shooting, 5 of 8 from 3-point range. And this one, you see Meg Dixon with another jumper gets fouled, hits the end one opportunity. It's now 25 to 10. Sunny Green again off the miss, coming out of nowhere. The Beacons dominating in all facets of the game to start this one off. And then Tatiana Fevry gets the steal. Keen State turnover leads to a bucket on the other end. The Beacons leading big after one. And then Paige Olivier. One of her five threes, again, nothing but net. The Beacons in control by 23. But a 13-0 Owls run to close out the first half would bring that Beacon lead down to 10 going to the halftime. And then the Beacons back up 10. The Owls answer back with a 7-0 run. Kenzie Dunford there hitting a shot. And then Valerie Luizzi hitting a shot of her own. And then Ariana Murray Gets into the scoring with a three. And just like that, the Beacon lead is down to just three points. Then Meg Dixon on the other end, the Beacon lead now at six. Hits a jumper, makes it an eight-point game. Alexa Potter, layup down low, makes it a double-digit game yet again. And then right before the end of the third quarter, Meg Dixon hits this running three-pointer at the buzzer. And just like that, the Beacons are up 11 heading into the final quarter of play. But Once again, Keene State would punch back. It's 55-53 now. The Beacons were held scoreless for almost seven minutes of the fourth quarter. And that led to a 13-0 Keene State run to help them go up by three. This was the first time that Keene State had led since early on in the first quarter. But then a 9-0 run started with Paige Olivier's fifth three of the contest. Ties it up at 58. Then Meg Dixon, clutch, nails it. And the Beacons back in front by three. Then Alexa Potter is going to get this nice pass from up top. Carrie Ann Farina feeds it to her. And just like that, the Beacons are going to end up winning this one 66 to 61, winning their second Little East Conference game of the season, moving to nine and eight on the year. Meg Dixon, another double double, 24 points, 11 rebounds on the day, eight of 15 shooting, four of eight from three point land. The Beacons head on the road to face University of Southern Maine on Wednesday night at 5 30 p.m.